Hey Jess, do you mind if we use the bedroom for a slight emergency? Emergency? What does that mean? The broadcast studio is not ready yet for the launch of the show. Yeah. And so I'm thinking we use the bedroom to record what we need to record. Can we just use the bedroom for Who's like- Who's we? The whole team. Everybody's gonna go can, to the bedroom. Can we use the bedroom? <laughs> would, mean... would that be all right? I just wanna make sure you're okay with it. Sure. My room is a lonely place. There's no one but me. Just an empty space. We also have to just roll in a couple boxes of gear. Okay. Is that fine? Yeah, do whatever you need to do. The wind of change is blowing. You got plan B. The bedroom's just gonna be a little different for a couple days. So we're gonna be doing the show from the bed. We're all gonna sit down on the bed and- The bedroom. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. J-Bo! John! Yeah. Penny? Welcome to my bedroom. <laughs> Coffee's almost ready. This was the dream of a, a young radio nerd. <laughs> Jess, how do you feel about your bedroom being turned into like a studio slash hangout slash yeah. being coffee? Feel free to take a nap in the bed. It's very comfortable. <laughs> Our home is your studio. <laughs> I went to a doctor a few months ago and I'm sitting in his office and all of a sudden I start getting hiccups. Not planned. They're never planned. No. He just nonchalantly says, hey, breathing hard through your nose. And I go, really? So I give it a good sniff, <laughs> and they go away. And I go, you gotta be kidding me. He's like, yeah, it's a cure for hiccups. I said, get out of here. I waited a little while, I tested it out. It's worked consistently every time that I've done it. And so now I feel confident enough, and this is a big leap, to share this with you so that finally hiccups can go away when you want them to. So anything, anything you wanna say to me? Congratulations on knowing this? Thank you. <laughs> Do you want to say, thanks, TJ? <laughs> oh, you want me to give you a thank you? Well, no, if you want to. You don't I, have I mean, to. I mean, thanks, TJ. What's up, Josh? How you doing? Hey, man. How is life going, man? Life is great. Good. That's I love awesome. I love this job. We were presented with a problem. Um, we didn't have a place to record. And we fixed that problem. It's a great group of people this far. You know, it's a honeymoon stage, though, so, exactly. so we'll see. Everybody's great, sure. so we'll, we'll definitely see. How's it going? Well, it's good. good. I am loving every second of this so far. Who is your favorite to work with so far? Well, I mean, what am I going to say? What do, what do you think? How do I answer that question? j -Bo, this is a cool, cool woman. And uh, I'm looking forward to continuing to, to get to know her more. I, I love what she brings to the table. I love her positivity, her sense of humor, her laugh. Who's your favorite person to work with? <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to ask me this. What? Everyone. Um, I guess I'm, you know, she, she, she seems to find me funny. I seem to have like a roadmap to her funny bones, so <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a favorite. Who is your least favorite? <laughs> Stop. I'm done. What? Turn this off. j -Bo. Yes, sir. When you get someone's address, you're meeting them at their house or you're going somewhere, do you look up their house online beforehand <laughs> to see, to see? well, first of all, how much it costs? Sometimes, yes. I would say 75% of the time I do. Do you check out the real estate ad? Sometimes. Yeah. But it's I interesting, right? Yeah. TJ and his lovely wife Jess, that's where they slept <laughs> just hours ago. Imagine like Ward laying down on his bed. On his bed. I know which side is his, it's by the alarm clock. Yeah, the alarm clock for him. This is a really comfortable bed. I'm jealous. Oh gosh, if someone looked up where we live right now, um, it's embarrassing. What's your address? <laughs> <laughs> What's, are you looking at? <laughs> Why are you embarrassed? We are actually currently staying in an RV situation while we look for property. So it's... Well, why is that embarrassing? I don't know, because I never thought I'd live in a camper. Yeah, yeah. but it's for a reason. There's a purpose behind yeah, it. Yeah, you just said you're trying to find a house, and in this moment, you're in a camper. Congratulations on trying to find a house. Oh, thank you. 
You're so kind. But also, <laughs> congratulations on planning ahead. Hello. Do you know how many people just jump into stuff and yes. they spend more than they've got at the moment, yeah. going into mountains of debt so they can get the house that they think they should have at right. this moment and maybe they're not ready for? So when I hear someone's living in a camper because they're planning for the future... That's actually admirable. Yeah. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I hear rent free. That's what I hear. Yes. <laughs> I like that. That is so kind. You know, that makes me feel so nice for you to say that. It's not even going to be about us, but it's going to be no. about the fact that we're going to serve the listeners serve and be able to entertain and inspire yeah. and encourage. And well, it's going to be awesome. Like that was my job that I just, you know, I laughed with my friends for about <laughs> six, seven straight hours. Just we were all goofing around and having a good time. How do you think it's going? With being in the bedroom, the sound, you and I. Well, I do like just waking up and being at the office. <laughs> that's, that's kind of an exciting thing. Yeah. yeah.